guys, it's Anna Marie, and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm just going to be doing a video on what it's like to be depressed and how I cope with depression. So if you guys don't know, I've been taking like breaks here and there um, pretty much every couple of weeks where I just don't post. And that is because honestly, I'm going to be 100% real with you, I've been having like a lot of depression and a lot of just stuff going on and um crazy things and it's been crazy a um, couple of weeks school started and a bunch of stuff but this is pretty much what it's like to have depression to be depressed there have depression and stuff and then pretty much how it goes so let's get into the video so first thing is what it's like to have depression so some i'm just gonna tell you guys thing and then explain it for you guys so the first thing is you don't want to be around anyone pretty much being depressed you just don't want to be around anyone you're just like oh i don't want to talk to you and you just there's like you're just you want to be alone you don't want anyone around and when people are around you're just like oh my gosh can you leave can you get away like it's very 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 stressful by the way my hair is not guys so number two is you just want to sleep um this is a big thing for me especially um i just i know i've noticed that i've been just so tired and so exhausted i don't want to get up in the morning simper's probably over there like <laughs> yes yeah, that's a big thing but um i just want to sleep all the time i get really tired and exhausted and don't want to get up <laughs> and i've noticed even in the morning, I go. I don't go to school till second hour, cause you know, yeah, cause that's how my schedule is this year, since I'm a senior. But um, you know, I just I get tired within two class hours. I'm exhausted and I just want to go home and I'm just go to sleep. So yes, there's that. Number three is you cry a lot. Um, you usually just sit in your um, going with being always tired. You just sit there on your bed a lot and like. So even movies usually show this pretty well. You just want to sit in bed and cry and sleep. And sorry, that's Caitlin. That's my puppy. I'm sorry, guys. But yes, the fourth thing is you listen to a lot of sad, depressing music. You're just like, I want someone to understand what I'm feeling. And so you just you listen to a lot of sad, depressing music. Something like if you're depressed because of a breakup. You listen to breakup music or this or that and you just want someone to understand you so you listen to sad depressing music and it makes it worse and then you listen to more depressing music and that makes it worse and it's just a huge thing of depression and it's a nightmare so the next thing is you get upset easily um any little thing um i've noticed myself if mom and my mom or dad or my boyfriend or my sister get mad at me i usually scream at them and stuff and i've just been I'm just getting like really emotional, really upset easily, like way easier than what I was when I was just normally upset. And it makes depression worse because, you know, you're just like, oh my gosh, can you just shut up? Or oh my gosh, this, and you just freak out. So the another thing is self-hate. You tend to hate yourself when you're just like, oh my gosh, I'm doing everything wrong. Ugh. I'm so ugly, oh, I'm gaining a bunch of weight, I'm getting fat, like, oh my gosh, and I've noticed that, like, I'm a person, if you call yourself fat, and another thing that Timber knows very well about me is I hate it when people call me fat, and I've noticed me criticizing myself even more, being depressed, and yes, so one last thing on that is you feel like you're hated, you feel like a lot of people hate you. And here's another thing that I know I'm crazy for saying here on YouTube, but I just have to be real with you guys. Um, and a lot of people who do watch my YouTube right now do go to school. I actually had a guy come up to me and was like, when are you going to post? And I had to say, I'm filming tonight, this video actually, and then uploading. And I go to school in the morning and I'm going to try to make, I was actually going to make this video, for my, of, which is going to be posted tomorrow, about why I don't have any friends, which I'm probably going to skip to next week, and I'm sorry for that, because I've been telling you guys on Snapchat, that's what I'm going to do, but I ended up putting this video up, just because I thought it would be better, and I go to school a lot, feeling like, oh my gosh, the whole school hates me, um, 
Yes, do, I do have several people at school. I'm not going to say names who don't like me because I don't want to make a drama and go to the principal's office and you have to delete this video, blah, blah, blah. But I do go through school. I go to church sometimes thinking people hate me. I go, even in my family sometimes, I feel like my family hates me. And it gives me, like, anxiety. Like, I've been telling you guys about me and anxiety a lot. But I just feel like oh, I of hate like other than just self-hate I feel like other people hate me and I feel like no one wants to be my friend and everyone hates me everyone's against me and when they're really not and I know they're not but I just I feel that way so now I'm going to tell you guys how I cope with depression when I'm going through it and usually I just sit there and I'm just depressed and then when I realize I'm depressed I cope with it but this is pretty much some ways to cope with depression if you guys are going through this that might help you and always I cope with depression so let's do it so the first thing is I listen um by listening to p positive upbeat music I was doing that today um I was just feeling so depressed in my the after lunch or during lunch or before lunch and so I just put earbuds in and I started listening to like if you guys know who Nikki and Gabby are, are their EP, and I'm obsessed with it for some crazy reason, so you guys should definitely check that out. But um, I've been listening to that a lot and obsessing over it because it's a lot of positivity and stuff. So I listen to a lot of upbeat, create, um, just things that I sh better things that are positive. So another thing is by not holding back my tears. I tend to hold back my tears, and I know it's probably like, again, probably over there because he always does that he holds back his emotion and sometimes I actually do that myself um especially when I'm depressed I'm just like I'm not gonna cry I'm not gonna cry I really want to cry but I'm not gonna cry so I do a lot of that um and just don't hold back your tears just let them flow if you guys want to cry go ahead cry <coughs> Timber but yes just go ahead he's like hey he does that a lot but just let them flow, let them go crazy, because it's at the end of it, you're going to feel a hundred, like a million times better letting it go than just keeping it in, and you're not going to get anxiety, and the depression's going to be, it's going to help cope with it, so don't pull back your tears, Timber. <laughs> okay, so the next thing is thinking about positive things, so for me, um, it's Timber, it's my really close friends, because I have a couple of them, not a lot, but, you know. And my puppy, which is actually going to be in here. Um, a couple in here. But um, I think about my puppy because I love her. She's my daughter. I love her so much. And I don't know where she's at. She's over there sleeping right now. But my puppy. I think about her. So just think about positive things. Um. And kind of keep your mind, don't keep your mind clear. Just think about crazy things like, oh, I want to do this this summer. Or, oh, hey, I can't wait for summer because, you know, school's coming back. Or, oh, my gosh, school's ending. <laughs> but think about positive things and be positive. So another thing I do, and Timber can, I know I keep saying his name in this video, but um, I happen to tell him, I don't even tell my parents things, so that's because of the situation I'm in, which I don't know if he really wants me to say this, say this on my channel or our channel or what we're going to do yet. I'm about to talk to him about that. But um, I tend to tell him a lot of things that are happening. If I'm depressed, I go to him, or if I feel like I want, like some, I'm in a situation that I should not be, I go to Timber and I'm just like, hey, I'm feeling like this. Help, can you get me help? Can you talk to me, talk me out of this, like help me? So I tell my boyfriend, but find someone you can talk to and just talk to them about it. Someone who will help you and only tell things that they should tell. So yes. So the next thing I do is I do things I enjoy. So for me, that's putting, doing makeup, making YouTube videos, um, going swimming or something. I don't know, art, doing art, whatever you guys enjoy. Uh, if it's something good, do it. Now, if it's like eating food or something or constantly working out, maybe or something that you shouldn't like do a lot, then don't do that. But find something like maybe drawing or making music or going outside and playing football or soccer or just find something you like that's positive and do that. That's something I do. Usually, I like to hang around my boyfriend. 
him because I'm a cuddle bear, but I hang around him and pretty much hang out with him. And that's, but yes. So the last thing I have for how I cope with depression is, like I said earlier with Caitlin, my puppy, is I like to play with my puppy. And like I said, she's a little bit of sleeping, being cute, aren't you, Caitlin? But um, I like to just play with her. If you guys enjoy playing with a dog, too, you can do that. But I like to play with my puppy. Um, if you have a kitten or whatever animal you have, as long as it's not going to kill you. Um, but play with them, play with them. Um, just pet them. Go outside, play with them. Just do something. Um with your pet if you guys have pets and if you don't have a pet then just hang out with your friends or something but make sure your friends are positive and not going to make you more depressed because yeah I'll do a whole video about that next time with the whole why I dropped my friends thing which we'll probably do in a new video sorry guys I'm hyper I'm excited because I finally get to post oh yeah and I'm gonna try like I said on my or not my Instagram, my Snapchat, if you guys don't have me, it is Zoe Marie1414. And I did change my Instagram. Um, yes, it is makeup underscore by underscore Zoe underscore Murray. So, yes, something like that. But go um, on my Instagram, follow me. And also, I don't know what my Twitter is. So, I'll figure that out. I'll, I'll try to put it down below. But, yes. So I hope you guys are having a great day. I love you guys so much. Bye.